Second, gets created in 1481, Papal Bull, Attorney Regis, Eternal Crown. Grantor again is the pontiff, puts the cura back there. Now we get thrown into the trust. We're the property here. Yeah? So the first one was the land. Uh, that land gets called common land, crown land. Have you heard crown land? Well, that's land ultimately going back up to that first master trust. So trustees again, College of Cardinals. The beneficiary now is the prince over infants. So we're considered infants in their system. Parents patriae. Have you heard that before? Parents patriae, the, the, the right of the father or the... It's, a, it's an old claim. Basically, it says uh, you're, you're too childish and too stupid to really handle your own affairs because you're an infant. You're a mental infant. And so we'll do it for you, for, for your benefit. Yeah? Okay, parents patriae. And here we go, number three. Number three, this is, where it gets, this is where it starts to get really weird. This is where they start doing some real occult stuff on us. <coughs> well, I already started, but this gets even worse. So the grantor here is the Pope again, fine. Executives of the Roman Curia, trustee College of Cardinals. But over here, we have the beneficiary, and the beneficiary is the prince and defender of faith. Now, there was only one defender of faith created, and it was by... By the way, no papal bull you see anywhere on the internet is real. Not one. Every one of them is a fraud, a corruption of the original instrument. You cannot see original papal bulls. I wish they would show us, but the problem of them revealing original true papal bulls, they have one problem, is that up until the 18th century, <coughs> the real ones were, were written.